Welcome to Uncle C's Bible Lesson, and I am your host, Uncle C. Today's story is entitled, A Wife for Isaac, and it's taken from Genesis chapter 24. And I would encourage you to read Genesis chapter 24 so you can see and read and envision the whole story. The action text is taken from Genesis 24, 15. Before the servant had finished praying, Rebecca came out of the city. She was the daughter of Bethuel. Rebecca was carrying her water jar on her shoulder. Now, do you like weddings? Have you ever witnessed a wedding? What are some of the things you like about a wedding? Now today, we will speak about a wedding. Today we will see how Isaac got his wife. Now on to the story. Sarah had already died and Abraham was becoming old. And Abraham taught. He taught about the promises God had given to him. And he said to himself, yes, I am going to have a great land. My generations, my descendants will be blessed. But at this time, Isaac doesn't have a wife. I need to get a wife for Isaac. So he called his servant. His servant was the one who was in charge of everything Abraham owned. And he said, it is time for Isaac to have a wife. I want you to go to where I came from. Go to my land. And I want you to choose a wife for him. I want you to promise me that you will never let him marry one of the ladies in this area. One of the Canaanites ladies. And the servant said, well, what about if the lady doesn't want to come here? Uh, should I take Isaac down there? And Abraham said, no, no, no. Don't do that at all. God has promised me this land. An angel will go with you. The angel will help you along the way. If the person refuses to come, well, you are free from your promise. But go and get a wife for me. So the angel uh, went along with the servant. And the journey began. And the servant went to a water area. He had taken 10 camels and some men in search of that wife for Isaac. And he wondered, hmm, who would be the wife for Isaac? Then he said, it is time to pray. And he prayed. He said, Lord, I want that person to come here. And I'm going to ask this person for water. And what she's going to say to me is, I am not only going to give you water, but I'm going to water your camels. And soon after praying that, Rebecca came and she had a jar. And he said to her, could I please have some water? And she said, of course, sir. And I'm going to give you a drink, not only to you, but also to your camels. And she gave him water and she went and she threw water for the camels. And not only one time, she went and she threw the water until all the camels had the water. And then the servant told Rebecca what was happening. He told her about Isaac. And then he realized that she was related to Abraham. She was, she was actually the granddaughter of Abraham's brother. And they continued speaking. He gave her gifts and he asked, is there room for us at your house tonight? And she said, yes, yeah, sure, come on over. And they went across. And they went across after the servant had given some gifts to her. When he got to the house, her brother Laban came out and said, you guys don't have to stay outside. 
And he gave the whole story to Laban and to Bethuel, Rebekah's father. And they listened that everything that happened. He told about Abraham, how God promised him a land. And he just went through details about the prayer, how Rebekah came. And they said, this has to be God's doing. We are not going to stop it. And he was happy. But before they left, Rebecca's mom said, well, this is kind of sudden. Let's Rebecca stay 10 days before she leaves. But uh, they decided to let Rebecca decide what she wanted to do. And Rebecca said, I will go with them. And they went on the way back to Abraham's land. And Rebecca saw Isaac from a way off. And Isaac saw Rebecca. And the marriage took place almost immediately. And as they said, or as they almost say, the rest became history. Now let's take it through. When God promises us something, he will find a way to get it done. Prayer is a powerful asset we have each day in our lives, and we should pray. It is okay to ask God for a sign. And more importantly, we should always have faith in God. Abraham had the faith that an angel would go with the servant. The servant had a faith that if he prayed, the correct wife would be chosen. And Rebecca also had faith that she was doing the right thing. Now, if I were to say the story in rhyme, it would go something like this. Abraham decided that Isaac was at this stage in his life where he should receive his chosen wife. He knew she had to come from his homeland if Isaac was to carry out God's command. So his servant traveled all the way there, and a wife was found through a simple prayer. Rebecca then willingly traveled to Isaac's side and almost immediately became his bride. Are you ready? What is the answer? Question number one, what did Abraham's servant promise him? A, he would find Isaac a wife from his neighbor. B, he will not let Isaac marry any of the Canaanite ladies. C, he will find a wife from Eden. Or D, he will ensure Isaac finds a wife in a year. What is the answer? Yes, the answer is B. He will not let Isaac marry any of the Canaanite ladies. Question number two. When the servant asks, what if this woman does not want to return with me to this land? What did Abraham say? A. Well, take him to the lady. B. Go to another land. C. Do not let him travel. Or is it D. Don't worry, they will come with you. What is the answer? Yes, the answer is C. Do not let him travel. Question number three. What sign did Abraham's servant pray for? A. A lady will walk up and say, you have nice comments. B. When he asks someone for water, she will say, yes. C. When he asks for water, the woman will also give water to the camels? Or is it D? A lady will come to him with two camels. What is the answer? And the answer is C. When he asks for water, the woman will also give water to the camels. And question number four. Rebecca, Rebecca's mother wanted her to stay at least 10 days before she left. What did Rebecca say? A. That is a reasonable request. 
B, I can leave now and return next month. C, I don't know these people. I do not want to go there. Or D, I will leave with them now. What is the answer? And the answer is D, I will leave with them now. Thank you for taking the quiz. Now it's time to pray. So let us close our eyes and let us bow our heads. Heavenly Father, we recognize that we need to include you in all our decisions, especially the very important ones. Help us to remember this, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for watching Uncle C's Bible Lessons. And if you want to email to me, my email address is UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. That is UncleCBibleLessons at gmail.com. But please receive your parents' permission before writing. Well, this is all for today. But as you go through the week, I want you to remember that Jesus loves you very much. Bye for now.